Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a hyperlink in a paginated report that opens a Power BI report. Stay tuned. Okay, paginated reports, Power BI reports, hyperlinks, what? Well, I'm gonna create this, I'm gonna show you how to create this hyperlink in a paginated report that takes, not only does it open the Power BI report, but it takes the parameters and values from that paginated report, passes it to the Power BI report, and filters that Power BI reports from those values from the paginated report. It's a lot, right? Well, I, I had the opportunity, the honor, to deliver a keynote back at the past summer, and I did this, and so many people have been saying, hey Patrick, how'd you do it, how'd you do it? So I decided to make a video on it, so you guys know how I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? head over to my laptop. Okay, so I got my paginated report. I'm opened up in Report Builder. And what I wanna do is I wanna, every time I click on a salesperson, I wanted to filter, my open my Power BI report, filter by that salesperson, and also filter by any parameters that I specify in my report. So let me show you what I mean. So when I run this report, I get to set a year parameter. So I'm gonna set this to 2011. I'm gonna accept the default. I'm gonna set it to all, and I'm gonna click view. When I click view, it opens up my report. And what I'd like to do is when I expand this out, right, I can see that this particular salesperson is not doing too well. And what I'd like to do is go all ad hoc on his data or her data or whoever data it is to figure out what's the problem. But I can't do that with a paginated report, but I can with a Power BI report if you give me certain permissions in the workspace, right? And so that's what I wanna do, all right? So you can see, I'm gonna go back to design, and to do this, the very first thing you need to do is open your Power BI report wherever it's published at. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to your Power BI report, so you can see my Power BI report, and grab the URL for that report. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the URL for that report, and make sure it's published into an app workspace. Don't use your My Workspace for this, okay? Use an app workspace, that way that the URL is persisted, okay? And so once I have that URL, I'll go back over to my my uh, paginated report, and I'm gonna click in the text box that contains the value where I wanna create this action or this hyperlink, okay? I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna go to text box properties, and what you'll see all the way down in the navigation list is an item labeled action. You click that, and you, can, you have some choices here, but choose go to URL, and there's your uh, expression button. Click your expression button, and you'll start to build out your expression. So the first thing you wanna do is drop your URL in there. Be sure you start with an equal sign and then put your URL. And then what you need to do is, if you wanna pass certain values to it, okay, from, from this report, like parameters and values in that, like the salesperson name, you need to build out the URL filters, the URL parameters, okay? I have a video where I explain how to do this. You guys go check out that video. What I'm gonna do is gonna be kinda like a cooking show, so instead of starting from scratch, already wrote this out i'll explain it to you a little bit and so basically i have the you can see i have the url for the report here and then i have a question mark which denotes hey this is where i'm going to start the filter process or query string whatever you want to call it and then i say filter the name of the table the name of the column i pass the equal and then i say equal to the value from that parameter which you can get right here from the parameters list so if i click this calendar and double click it will actually write that exact code for me right here, then I continue to build, use ampersand for concatenation, and, because I'm doing multiple values, multiple filters, I'm passing not only the year, but I'm also passing the salesperson, then I say sales, salesperson equals, and then I pass the particular field from the data set, which would be my sales, my salesperson, right? Salesperson.value, then I click OK. And then what I wanna do, because I wanna give the end user, the person that's using this report, a little idea that they should click, so I'm gonna make it look like a hyperlink. So I'm gonna go to my font, I'm gonna change the color to blue, and I'm gonna change effects from default to underline, so you see that's what it's gonna look like. I click OK, and now I run my report. I run my report, I choose 2011, choose all, and I click view my report, all right? I'm seeing my hyperlinks all ready to go. You see, I had a little tool tip to let them know, click here to go all ad hoc on the data, um, but let's not do it from here. So what you gotta do is, after you get your report ready to go, right? After I get my report ready to go, I'm gonna click save, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my 
my paginated report up to a workspace in Power BI, all right? So I'm gonna go here, and all you need to do is click Get Data, choose Files, and then browse to the location where you save that RDL, okay? Now, remember, to use paginated reports in Power BI, it must be backed by premium capacity. But you know what's great about this? If you're using the Power BI report server or just reporting services in general, um, you can follow these exact same steps, okay? So it'll work either way, all right? But my Power BI report is definitely up in the service, okay? So once you have it done, once you've uploaded your report, I go here and you can see my two reports. You see there's my paginated report, there's my Power BI report. I'm gonna click on country sales here. It's gonna load up my report. I'm gonna choose 2011. I'm gonna choose all, I'm gonna click view report, and then in a few short seconds, my report's gonna render. I can expand it out. You can see it looks like a hyperlink. You see it's ready to go. I click on it, it's gonna open a new window, it's gonna open my Power BI report, but the beauty is it's gonna take that salesperson, that value for my parameter, pass it to my new report, to my Power BI report, you can see it's filtered by 2011, by Garrett Vargas, Vargas. if I click edit, now I can go all ad hoc on this data. I can start you know, digging in and analyzing this data to figure out why hasn't Garrett made his quota, okay? And then I can work with Garrett to help Garrett keep his job, all right? What do you guys think? Have you done this before? Have you seen this before? What methods have you used? You got questions, comments? You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. You gotta subscribe. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.